is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today, we're doing my WWE Money in the Bank 2023 predictions, man. Money in the Bank, one of my favorite pay-per-views of the entire year. Now, when you're seeing this video, if they end up booking another match or they do something like that, the day I'm recording this is Friday. This is going to be early on the morning of the pay-per-view event, and Money in the Bank's happening at like 2 p.m. on Saturday or something of that nature, or this may be uploaded Friday night. I'm not too sure about that. However, I'm going on vacation, so I don't know if I'm going to review this show or not. I'll be on vacation during the event itself and I don't even know if I'll be able to watch it live but we'll see about that I guess you guys can stick to the channel to see but Money in the Bank, man. If you guys are longtime members of the channel or you've been around for a while, you would know that I think the Money in the Bank winner and the briefcase and the entire gimmick has been ruined like seven or eight years in a row now. And I've broke down the entire thing. I probably need to do it again because it's quite possible that it could be ruined again, at least for me. I know it's not ruined for everybody. It's for me personally. It's a personal thing. It's an MDT issue. Nonetheless, man, we're going to break down every single matchup. I'm going to give you guys my predictions and thoughts on the matches moving forward, who I expect to win, who I think is going to win, what I expect out of the matches and all those different things. So with that being said, let's dive into Money in the Bank 2023, break down the show, and find out who I think is going to win. Now coming into this show, I'm actually quite hyped for it, like the matches, I think we're in for some good stuff. I plead to God, I hope that they don't actually do some things that I think they're going to do, but we shall see, man. Let's dive into it, get it started, and dive into Money in the Bank 2023. Alright, so our first matchup is going to be the Women's Tag Team Championship match, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler defending against Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez. My Raquel Rodriguez got break it, broken down to a custom, but who really gives a damn, Brad? I I'm going to go with Ronda and Shayna retaining. I could see Liv and Raquel getting the win here, but I don't I don't know, man. I just, I, I, if anybody knows me, they know how I feel about the women's tag titles and all the things surrounding it and the shenanigans and the garbage. I'm just going to go with the champions retaining. I don't really have a good reason for it. I just, I just think they're going to retain. Even though it would not shock me to see Liv Morgan and Raquel win, I'm going to roll with the champions. Next up is a matchup that I'm very much looking forward to. We have the Intercontinental Championship, Gunther taking on Matt Riddle, defending the championship here. This one should be a banger. These guys are going to beat the absolute hell out of each other, and it should be nothing less than a match of the year candidate. I could actually see that taking place here. Hopefully that is the case, but I don't know why for some reason I think Matt Riddle is going to get the win. I, I just I feel that for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know how, and I don't know when, but something feels off about this match for me, and I couldn't tell you what it is, and I I could be completely wrong, Brad, but maybe a returning Randy Orton calls Gunther the matchup. Maybe a returning Randy Orton calls Matt Riddle the matchup. Maybe he walks out there and he acts like he's going to turn on Gunther and he turns on Riddle, setting up that matchup, and then Gunther pins Matt Riddle to win. Actually, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with Randy Orton returns, takes out Riddle, and Gunther retains the IC Championship. That's what I'm booking. I'm booking that one. Yeah, that sounds right in my head, Brad. Book it. Next up, we have Dominic Mysterio with Rhea Ripley taking on Cody Rhodes. A matchup that, like, I don't know, just feels like freaking WWE. Wii Universe Mode Generator just randomly generated this matchup. I think Cody Rhodes wins here. I just, I, I don't know, man. I just don't have any intrigue in this matchup. I'm just going to say, I've really enjoyed Dominic's heel work ever since he turned heel, and I love Rhea, and I love Cody to death. You guys know that, but I just, I really don't care about this matchup. I think Cody needs to get this dub here, and let's move along here. Should be a fun little matchup, whatever, but I'm not really, I'm not really starving for this match. I'm not intrigued by it. I'm not looking too deep into it, man. Cody Rhodes gets the W. The rivalry renewed here at Money in the Bank. Seth freaking Rollins defending his World Heavyweight Championship against Finn Balor. I love both of these guys so very much. You guys know I support both these men heavily. Two of my favorites in all of sports entertainment and wrestling right now. Two of my favorites in the wrestling world, man. I think Seth Rollins retains. I think it's a damn good match. I think, you know, we get a classified banger here. Maybe another match of the year candidate. Hopefully, hopefully Finn Balor doesn't break his shoulder or something like that. I don't think he will. That's obviously just jokes. I think, I think this should be great. I think it'll be great, but I think Seth Rollins will get the win at the end of the day. Finn Balor is riding, you know, some nice momentum there after his victory over Carmelo, but I think that Seth Rollins gets the dub here. I don't think they're going to take the championship from him. It would shock me heavily to see him lose the championship here, and I guess technically we could get like a cash-in maybe if, you know, the men's money in the bank goes on before this matchup, but, and I guess that wouldn't shock me either, but I'm going to go with Seth Rollins to retain here, whether he gets cashed in on or not. I still think he's going to win this matchup versus Finn Balor, and I just hope for a damn good football game. Next up, we have our women's version of the Money in the Bank ladder match. Zelina Vega versus Becky Lynch versus Zoe Stark versus Bayley versus Io Sky versus Trish Stratus for the Money in the Bank contract, man. You know, going in here, I think this one's kind of up in the air. I really don't have a certified winner. I don't have one in my brain that's like, oh yeah, this is most definitely happening. I could see this thing going a bunch of different ways, but for some reason, my mind is telling me Bayley. I don't know why. That's just where my brain's going. I'm just going to ride with what my brain's telling me. I'm just going to ride with Bayley. 
Bailey and see where this thing goes. You know, I'm not holding my breath on that decision, but I think you have a up in the air money in the bank briefcase. I feel like the men's is kind of up in the air as well, as far as I know what a lot of people want, but you guys know that WWE doesn't always give us what we want. So yeah, I think that one's up in the air as well, but this one should be fun. I'm still going to roll with Bailey. It'd be cool to see somebody else win it, but out of all the people in this matchup, I guess if I had to pick, I'd probably pick Becky because I, you know, I just, I think that she's the best. However, uh, yeah, I think Bailey's going to win. I'm going with Bailey to win the women's money in the bank briefcase, and I don't know where that goes. You know, maybe she cashes in on Rhea possibly during the Cody Rhodes match. Maybe she takes a, uh, you know, she takes a stray and then uh, gets cashed in on or something. I don't know. Next up, guys, we have the Bloodline Civil War Tag Team Match. That's literally what it's called, so I don't know if there's like special rules going on with this match or what the hell the deal's going on with that. I, I don't know, but it does say that. The Bloodline Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa taking on the Usos here, which I don't know if they could be called the Bloodline anymore. I don't know, but I guess they're getting kicked out of the Bloodline, so I guess it works, but this matchup should be damn good. I would expect it to probably main event. I could see it main eventing the show. Maybe Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Maybe the Men's Money in the Bank. The Men's Money in the Bank never really main events, though, to be honest with you, so I, I don't know where they're going here, but I don't know who the hell's going to win this matchup, man. I genuinely have zero clue what they're going to do here. The storylines have been up and down all the way, but I'm going to I'm gonna go with the Usos, man. I'm going with the Usos. I don't know why. I, we, do we get a cash in here, maybe? Uh, it's possible, but there's literally nobody in the damn Money in the Bank match, like the Men's Money in the Bank, that should cash in and capture one of those world titles right now, man. Not a single one. Like, of LA Knight, as much as everybody loves him, I'm personally not a fan of the guy. I know everybody loves him. If he were to win the men's Money in the Bank and then cash in and win the World Championship, it would just feel so underwhelming to me. Like, Roman Reigns' historic run ending to LA Knight would just be just so underwhelming to me. Which I guess you could argue, like, I mean, it all goes back to Cody Rhodes finishing the story, which could have involved, like, everything that's happened since WrestleMania. If Cody Rhodes wins the matchup and the championships, everything that has happened since then would have been perfectly booked perfectly. It would have worked out great because then you could have had Roman Reigns and the downfall of the bloodline after him losing. Like, he becomes more psychotic. Everything's a downfall. The bloodline have no championships. What's there to worship? Like, it really booked itself, and then now he's got the championship for what? Historic reign nonetheless, I just think that something big has to knock it off, which I guess a Money in the Bank cashing could be. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing shish at the wall, you know? I don't know, man. At the end of the day, I'm gonna roll with the Usos winning. I'm going with the Usos winning. That's my final nail in the coffin, man. There's a lot to analyze about this match. It should be epic and historic, but I'm gonna go with the Usos. And for our main event, we have the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Now, we don't have a Logan Paul just yet, or we actually do. Some people are getting their Ultimate Edition Logan Pauls in hand, and mine is actually shipping. It's literally on transit, ready to be delivered to my house any day now, and I'm not going to be here when it gets here. So, you guys are going to have to wait on my Ultimate Edition Logan Paul review for when I return. Also, my Elite 104 probably as well, so I do apologize for that. Unless some miracle happens, and I end up taking them to the beach or something, and then I do, like, on-the-beach reviews, which should kind of be sick to be honest with you, but the wind blowing and all that, I don't know. Nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Money in the Bank prediction time. We don't have an LA night either, which maybe we'll see at San Diego Comic-Con. Huh, lots of shish going on, man. Just lots of shish. But here we go. This one's very unpredictable. I know a lot of people want LA Knight to win. Personally, it, like, the only person that I would like to see win this matchup is, is Pete Dunn or Butch. I, I like, but Butch is not winning the Money in the Bank. He's just not. I wish his gimmick was still Pete Dunn and that was his name and everything like that. I'd love to see Ricochet win it as well. That would be really dope. But the only two logical choices, really, in the grand scheme, is LA Knight and Logan Paul. And I could absolutely see them giving it to Logan Paul. But that is the last person that I'd ever want to touch a Money in the Bank briefcase like Jesus that just sounds like a nightmare but I could absolutely see it man it would just fit right in with the character like everybody doesn't like him and then boom there it is and he wins it and he cashes in wins the title it would just be just a shish show man god in heaven I don't want that to happen that would be literally so god awful nonetheless man my final pick I'm just gonna go with LA Knight I'm gonna roll with LA Knight to win it actually you know what I'm, I'm just gonna roll with Logan Paul bro I'm predicting Logan Paul to win so that way if he wins it I'm at least right even though it sucks and then if he doesn't win it it's great because even though I'm wrong, he didn't win it. So that's, it's all, it's all, it's a win-win situation for me there. Nonetheless, that is going to wrap up this Money in the Bank predictions video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your predictions down in the comment section below. Should be an enjoyable show. I love Money in the Bank. It should be damn good. But before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, check the link in the description below. But that is going to wrap this thing up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Leave me your Money in the Bank predictions down in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. We'll never back down.